Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here at thepipenook.com, back in the West Parlor here at Gray Manor. Uh, this video has been a long time coming. I've been meaning to make it for the last, I don't know, two or three weeks. And uh, I keep coming up with reasons to put it off because I want to add other things to it. But what this is, is the pipe nook, uh, what's new at the nook. Let's call it that. What's new at the nook? Summer 2022 edition. Uh, and, you know, three months go by and you don't really think that you've added a whole lot of product to the site, but uh, I have. So I've got a pretty good bit of stuff to show you guys. So I'm just going to rattle through this stuff um, pretty quickly, but I do want to do some show and tell. So most of you know that back in February, I think it was, I introduced my Peterson exclusive line of pipes which is the Peterson Phoenix pipes. This here is the 221 shape. Uh, bent billiard with that amazing acrylic fiery stem. Um, rustication. It's got the, the Peterson uh, chunky rustication with a band. Now I have six shapes of these in the series. I have been sold out of uh, more than half of them, all but two, until just recently. And now I'm happy to report that I've got five of the six uh, back in stock at the moment. And let me see if I can remember uh, the ones I have. I've got the 03, the 68, the 69, the 221, and the 106. Uh, the only one I don't have is the 05 shape, but supposedly those will be coming in the weeks ahead. Um, so I wanted to mention, that was back in February that I introduced those, uh, but they are restocked now. Um, let me take that out of the way. So next up, I don't, I'm not going to go in order most likely of when I introduced these. Um, but recently I introduced this Pulsanella series from Savinelli. Unique box for Savinelli. Typically you have a navy blue box. Um, but this is an interesting uh, maroon or red box with, uh, with this artwork on the top. Um, unique to Savinelli. Uh, this is the Pulsanella line. Uh, so you see here, this is the rusticated version. Actually, is this sandblasted? I think it may be sandblasted. No, it's rusticated. Not a sandblast, but almost could have fooled me there. It's a very light rustication. Really nice. Uh, and then there's the black and white stem which looks kind of digital camo or a bit checkerboard on the sides but then because of the bend it's got some unique formations in the stem there and on the bottom on the top and the bottom this is the pulsanella it only comes in this 645 shape um, and there's also a smooth version uh, let's see if I, yeah, I've got one to, one of the smooth versions to show you. So there's that. And here's the smooth version. Comes in the same box. There we go. Look at that. Same kind of formations on the top and bottom and the weird checkered slash digital camo on the sides. Really pretty. Also 645, as I said, that's the only shape uh, Pulsanella comes in at this time. Don't think that'll change. Sometimes Savinelli does that. They'll introduce a series, but it'll only have one shape. Like previously, we had the Otagono series that only had one shape in recent memory. Next up, um, I wanted to mention this. Actually, 
Uh, no, I'm not going to mention this. <laughs> uh, I have alligator pipes in stock. Um, this is one that I pulled um, that's going into my collection. It's another 320 AL. But I have plenty of alligator shapes, uh, including the 320, I do believe, in stock. This is the Rossi Sarah series. This is kind of taking the place in the lineup for Rossi um, of the Vittoria series, which the Vittoria was a uh, black rusticated uh, with a vulcanite stem. This is a brown rustication uh, with a, a little, probably aluminum band there, and a, a acrylic stem, I do believe. You guys might want to check on that on the website, but I do believe that's an acrylic stem. It will say in the specifications. Um, this is, of course, the 673 shape, but there are several shapes in the Rossi Sarah series. Uh, I... Like I said, it's kind of taken the place of the Vittoria pipes, which were unfiltered, and these are 6 millimeter filtered. But, I, you know, if you want the unfiltered, and you want the Vittoria pipes that are a couple of bucks cheaper than this one, just a couple of bucks, um, I do still have some of those Vittorias in stock. This is unique. Um... Longer box from Savinelli. Um, kind of, uh, this is probably what they ship their Churchills in, I would imagine. Uh, but this is a Bing's Favorite pipe. It was called the Bing's Favorite Extra. And here we go. Look at that. Much longer stem. Probably double the size stem. Maybe a little bit less than twice the size stem that a Bing's favorite typically comes with. So this is a nice, uh, what I would call a semi-church warden. You might actually consider this a church warden. It's pretty long there. Um, where's my handy dandy ruler? We are at uh, eight and a half, about eight and a half inches long right there. But this was a limited edition, uh, and I received some smooth and some rusticated uh, versions of this. Currently, I only have three of the rusticated versions. So look for that. Um, and once those three are gone, they're gone. Uh, can't get any more of these because, like I said, they were limited edition. Uh, next up, I introduced uh, Savinelli Melee Pipes. They come in this type box here. Actually, one of them, I believe it was the 606 shape, comes in a standard box. I don't know if that is because they're moving away from this unique elongated box style or not. But y'all be aware of that if you're concerned about the box. This is a funky shape here, uh, but there are multiple shapes in the Melee series that I carry. But these are honey themed. Oh. So this is a 344 shape. It's a straight brandy. All the Melee pipes are um, smooth, finished, and they're lightly it's what I would call a naked bowl, but they say at the factory they are lightly uh, applying a, uh, a honey mixture to the inside of the bowl to help with developing cake. Um, but the Miele pipes are beautiful honey-themed pipes. Um, I didn't even mention that stem, but you guys saw that stem... Uh, it looks kind of like a, a honeycomb or crystallized honey, and it comes with this honey dipper shaped tamper. Each one comes with one of these little wooden honey dipper tampers. Um, it's not an actual honey dipper. Um, I guess you could use it as such, but 
It's a tamper made to look like a honey dipper. Um, I didn't get enough air out of that box to close it up. Or out of that bag to close it up. We're nearing the end, you guys. I hate feeling like I'm racing through this, but kind of the point of this video is just to, you know, what what I've introduced to the site in the previous three months or so, and I'll try to do this every quarter. Oh, here we go. New items in the accessories section. This is a Pipe Nook uh, logo on the top of a pocket jar, which is for travel for tobacco. Um, this is the military green, I believe it was called military green bottom. And it's basically got a mason jar top uh, and this food grade uh, plastic bottom. And you can fit, I would say comfortably, two to three bowls of uh, standard bowls of tobacco in this for travel purposes. Um, it's not meant for long-term storage. Of course, most people aren't going to try to store that tiny little bit uh, of tobacco for any length of time. But this comes in five um, colors for the bottom. You've got the green. This is the onyx black. I've got a burnt burnt orange. This is their slate blue. And I forget what they call this, but you know, I call it a brown, but they might call it like a bronze or something like that. But uh anyway, so I have three colors of this. These are nine bucks each. Really nice for if you're going on a day trip or, or you're going to be out for the day. And uh, this will fit in your pocket or fit in, you know, the pocket of a bag or whatnot. Um, really, really neat little product. I like those a lot. Last but not least, I've got two tobaccos. Now, as you guys know, I've been having issues with uh, tobacco sales on the website. That is still ongoing. Uh, I hope to have that resolved by year's end. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. But for now, all pipe tobacco is um, mail order only. So you would email me what you want, and I'll email you a total. And then you'll mail me a check or money order, along with a photocopy of your um, photo ID uh, for age verification. But you might want to seek me out for these uh, in particular and then throw in a couple other tins if, since you're placing a tobacco order but I have some tins of Cornell and Deal's anthology series um, the 92 to 2022 anthology series uh, this is a I believe a, a Virginia Perique Virginia 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 Perique yep this is mine so it's been opened. Mm. Love that Perique smell. Uh, it's a broken flake. You can see. A little bit easier to deal with than a standard uh, flake or a slice. Um, so I have some of these. I also have their latest, which is the Sun Bear Mountain Flower. This is also my tin, and it is also a broken flake. But now this has the honey flavoring on it. Mm. And I think it's Virginia's and Orientals. Yes, so no Perique in this one. So the Anthology is a Virginia Perique, unflavored. The Sun Bear uh, Mountain Flower is Virginia Orientals with a light honey drizzle topping and uh, man these are both really good for for my taste I would you know I prefer the anthology because I love Virginia Periques and I don't tend to go for flavored tobaccos all that much um, I smoke them every now and then but uh, I tend to go for the Virginia Periques and burley based blends 
Kentucky, dark fire Kentucky blends, that kind of thing. Um, but both of these are phenomenal blends. Uh, if you had to pick one, it really depends on taste, but I would recommend the Anthology. But that's good news because I have more of the Anthology than I do of the Sun Bear. I'm pretty sure I have over 20 tens left still of the Anthology. I'm down into the single digits for the Sun Bear. So that's going to be first comes, first served. Um, you know, you guys that email me. If you want to uh, place an order that includes this or any other tobacco, you'll want to email me at thepipenook at outlook.com. Or you can just go over to the website and I've got a contact page. You can send me a message that way. But I believe that's it, you guys. So um, a pretty good bit on the site in the last few months. Uh, and I've got a lot more to come. Uh, as you know, as capital allows, I'm just adding to the site, adding to the site. What I have available, uh, there are uh, a lot of products coming down the road uh, the rest of this year and into 2023. And I do believe by the end of 2023, I'll probably be mostly built out uh, to the point where I'll be at capacity for inventory uh, here at the Pipe Nook. So I probably wouldn't be adding new product unless or until uh, a, a standing line gets discontinued. Uh, that may change, but that's kind of the plan right now. But uh, you can foresee more uh, products coming from the Pipe Nook. Um, for the next year and a half, I would guess. All right, you guys, we're going to call it at that. Thanks for stopping by. Glad you got to see me, and we'll chat with you later.